Welcome to the CGR lap of awesome. Here's a track and car request from Twitter. This was sent to the show by Skashe. Skashe. From at Quake112, who requested the Calsonic Nissan GTR 08 on the Cirque de la Sar Sarth? How, how do you pronounce this? The Philemon's track. A tough track, and one that I really enjoy driving. The game where I first drove this track was the excellent Test Drive Le Mans on the Sega Dreamcast, which is actually one of the best driving games on the Dreamcast. I reviewed this years ago. Watch my Test Drive Le Mans review. It's the one with all the girls in the bathing suits as the avatar, because why not? After playing that game for quite some time, I memorized the track, and then I've seen it in countless racing games since. And it's, it's a fun track because you need a good combination of insane speed for the long straightaway here, and nimble cornering for the, uh, the tricky bits after the long straightaway, where it's really easy to fly off the track in this particular course. So you need good handling, and insane speed. Now I had to throw a lot of horses into the uh, Calsonic here, into the GTR before it was competitive. In fact, I pretty much maxed it out. I went out and grabbed a bunch of horses, threw them into a giant blender, and then poured them into the Nissan to give it the extra El Camino fueled power, which worked. Now I win this, but it wasn't necessarily easy. It still takes a lot of track memorization. And uh, this, this course in particular really kicks ass with the Thrustmaster. Because the wheel is just throwing all kinds of force feedback your way. This, this course can build your arms. I was playing Dirt Rally last night, which feels like a gentle breeze compared to this. So I'm, uh, I'm hoping there's some more settings in, in Dirt Rally. To give, to give the wheel more feedback during rally events, but uh, here in Gran Turismo 6, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. Most impressive. Especially on the uh, Le Mans track here. And this car is great. I like all the skylines or all of the GTRs in the game. They, they're fast and they, and they handle reasonably well. They're all fairly controllable. They're often a good choice for an all-around car, and uh, and they look cool too. I mean, that's really one of my favorite parts. They're they're very understated cars. In fact, I just saw one today. Some college kids were driving it, of course. Who else could afford one, really? Now, if you notice on the dashboard there, there's a switch that says IGN. When you flip that, it starts regurgitating marketing material to you. The camera angles during the replay look really nice on this track in particular. Now I'm in second place uh, about halfway through the uh, the race. And I, I was driving this course just a few days ago in some of the Gran Turismo Monthly Challenges, which are far more demanding... Uh, <laughs> they're off the track. Which are far more demanding than uh, this, this race. Because... Uh, 
those punish you for pretty much anything. If you if you cut a corner, you're punished. If you fly off the track, you're punished. I, you can get away with more here, but I'm still trying to drive this reasonably well, even though I totally just screwed that part up. That's okay. It did slow me down a little bit. Needless to say, you want some pretty good brakes for this one. So we come out of the uh, monster straight away here. Watch out for a gentle right, which then leads into a hard right. And it's easy to screw that up. So I like to just slowly ease in with the brakes, starting about here. And then jam on the brakes. And uh, this is when I drive by and give them the finger, like usual. Unless they're driving a Skyline an El Camino or anything that looks like it was in Magnum PI or Miami Vice. Then, then I give, then I wave to them as a sign of respect. And then throw on the smoke screen and crash them into a wall. This part's great with the wheel. It's just, if you could just imagine the wheel, and I tried to film this, or I'm trying to film this for the review. Oop, off the track again. I'm trying to film this for the review, just the amount of shaking back and forth here. Oh, we're going to ram this guy because he's a dick. And, um... It's just, this, this course is so much fun to play with the wheel. It's, it's like a thousand times better than with the uh, controller. So I probably should have lost here except because of my offensive driving skills learned while playing Road Rash and Crazy Taxi. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm still in it. And uh, this, this is actually the toughest turn in, in the track right here, I think. Coming down the straightaway. Slight left and then watch it. You can catch some air there, which throws off your braking. For this part, you want to do a very gentle break into that and then gun it out of it. Watch this corner. Easy to lose it there. And then just jam on the gas here. And then there's a nice right followed by a left, which is a little bit tighter. And then after that, you just, just gun it for a while. It's all track memorization on this one. Yeah, you do the right here, but to just, just go full speed out of this thing and look for the little whatever that is hanging over the track. One, two, break. And if you're really in a hurry, you can just cut these corners, but uh, the other races will punish you. Not this one, though, because it respects the fact that I ground up real horses to increase my power. It's like a sacrificial thing. Sheep will also work. Now, frequently during the CGR lap of awesome races, uh, those of you who send me track and car requests on Twitter and Patreon will, uh, will find that I'm usually well in the lead by the last lap. Uh, because I played Gran Turismo a lot, and also I'm really good at Night Driver on the Atari 2600. And if you're good at that game, you're good at all any driving game. And uh, watch, watch my review of that if... If for some reason you haven't played Night Driver on the Atari 2600, really, you just haven't lived. It's kind of a must-play game. Anyway, I, I want to get first place here. And the car ahead of me is quite fast, so it's not easy to catch up to them. Uh, so I'm, I'm sort of... Uh, I'm going to bend the rules a little bit on this last lap. I'm going to cut some corners and go really fast. The, the uh, good thing about the Skylines and the, uh, the GTRs is that they're, they're kind of hard to spin out. A lot of the other cars, especially the really fast, really light ones, if you catch any of the dirt or if you uh, catch a curve, a curb or something, you'll just spin that thing right out. Well, the GTRs are pretty, they're, uh, they're pretty good on their feet, you know? They're hard to totally wipe out. So I'm, I'm really pushing it here in the last lap. And, then, and then this is exciting, so let, let's just sit back and watch. Oh, I just, I just saw a glimpse of the car ahead of me in the replay. He knows I'm coming. Or she. It could be a girl. Or an it. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a cat in there driving. Wouldn't that be weird if you're like passing the car and there's a cat in there waving to you like a furry or something? Hey, what's up? the fuck? There's a cat driving this car. Did I say Get back here, you pussy! 
I meant that in the uh, nicest way. It's time to flip that IGN switch. It'll give me a number rating and tell me how I'm doing. 9.5 out of 10, hey. That's good, okay, I'm gonna rear end that guy. It's like firing a shot across his bow. And I already told you I win, so that I guess there shouldn't be too much drama here. So maybe it only gets an 8 out of 10. Because the graphics are good. And come on, come on, come on, get, get on this guy! Let's go, come on. I'm gonna get him on the corners. Oh, and I'm I'm just I'm really leaning into the wheel here. I'm 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 determined. There we go, on the inside. So I got him. I am going to um, maybe not take these turns the way that I should at the end. But I I went this I was this far in the race. I don't want to lose. Yeah. You know. If they really didn't want me to do this, they would have put walls and sharks there. That's all I'm saying. So, thank you to Skashe at Quake112 for the request. And thanks to everyone else for watching. So shoot me some Twitter and Patreon track and lap combos. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley, Beer is the Trick, Steven Chucknick, from New Jersey, Michael Fernandez. People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver, Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia, Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna. Austria. Austria! Cue the thunder. Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Cue the lava! I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris! From Australia! Oh hi, Cunny! Master of Thunder! Chip Sankvale! Fighter of Space Bees! Woo! Rick DeBarros! Gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana. Nelson! Nelson! Fighters of the future! That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout, Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud, and the party rocking for... Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular. Will. Will. Will? Will? Will. Will.